Greetings everyone and welcome into the hourglass. Welcome if you are new. It is Aquarius season. I hope you guys could hear me very clear now or clearly. I have connected one of my mics. All right, so let's see what's going on for you. What's going on in the first half of Aquarius season? We have intuition. So we have some high priestess energy. Big up to all the high priestess in the house. Hey <laughs> all right, and we have movement choices and decisions. Could we see it here? Yeah, let's just rest it right there. All right, so you're maybe in this high priestess energy where your intuition or your intuitive uh, eye is pretty like woke right now or is pretty sensitive. I'm also picking up that, you know, this, you know, intuition is the language of your soul. So, you know, your soul is a big part of you. So what information are you vibing or what is vibing through your thoughts right now? Whatever it is, please, it's easy to ignore it or fail to acknowledge the insights that you're receiving. But it has a lot to do with the movement, choices and decisions in your life. Give yourself a chance, be still, get some quiet time and pay attention to what the language of your soul is trying to tell you right now. This could also talk about... Uh, you know, really getting into divination, you know, if you have a tarot deck, if you have, you know, books that you like to open to a certain page and read just to get some sort of insight or guidance, do so. Turn inwards to whatever solution or choices or decision. What action do you have to take? Um, you're, be, you're going to also get deep or very discerning uh moving forward in Aquarius season, I do feel like if you trust your intuition, there is going to have win-win outcomes. And I'm saying that because we have two, two. So definitely some, uh, number confirmations for a lot of you. We have 22. That is the master builders number. So get building, build on your intuition muscle or your intuitive eye. Hi, priestess. What's going on, baby? Pause. Be open and pay attention, my loves. All right. So let's see. What deck should I use next? Hmm. Yeah. So if you have been working hard or putting in a lot of great effort in a situation, I feel like this de determination is going to pay off, especially when it comes to money and business. Stay flexible. So I'm hearing... Uh, reflect, go within, pay attention and stay flexible. Wow. Um, and I'm also getting with this choices. You don't have to do this alone. So you may need to contact your high priestess, whoever is a high priestess in your life. Don't be afraid to kind of reach out to get some, uh, deeper insights. There could be some details or solutions that you're overlooking and this high priestess in your life could offer you vital uh, dis uh, information or insights to help you with your decisions, your actions moving forward and your choices. So let's see what else is going on for you. Aquarius season. Happy birthday to all Aquarius is in the house. Bob Molly's birthday is coming up as well in February. I seem to favor February Aquarius is over January. It's just what I notice. No offense to any of the Aquarius is in the house. The water bearers. So keeping a friendly attitude will get you far as well. Let's see. What is the connecting card between intuition, high priestess energy and movement choices and decisions? We have creation and we have the number three. So that threes may be important. And we have explore. We have 11. So we have master numbers 11 and 22. So it's a great time for you to again to go within and explore your intuitive eye. Uh, this could help you a lot with the creative energy or the creative spark or you, with your projects and your creations. I was just about to say, where the F is my tarot deck? I've been hearing this song. I don't know who sings it, but it goes something like, somebody loves you, baby. That's all I'm hearing over and over. I just went to the, the bathroom and I sat down on my throne. Too much information, I know, but I, that's all I'm hearing. Somebody. 
everybody loves you baby i also hear that you guys have the key to unlock some doors in your life or to unlock something deeper within yourself you may have onk tattoos on jewelry or you're studying um uh the the theory behind the onk or some of you are a, per, a portal in this high priestess energy with the Ankh energy. You may be a portal for ancestors to come through or talk to you. So maybe you're a psychic medium. Or some sort of divination is here to help you with the choices and decisions moving forward. So let's bust down the tower deck and see what is going on. What is your intuitive eye try to really tell you here? We have the hermit. So this may be a situation where you need to kind of go within the hermit and the high priestess. Hello, what a combination, right? So this is very like intuitive people that we're speaking on or touching on. Some of you could be a little paranoid with number synchronicities or divination. Maybe you're kind of like obsessed, you know, always asking it the same questions. Be careful that you're not doing that because too much of that would kind of give you mixed messages or insights. So before you start asking, divinations or anything for guidance please clear your mind come from a clear um, system here as well so the hermit you may have some hidden potential that you need to unlock we have the Diablo energy. So we have Cancer and Capricorn energy, pretty strong with Sagittarius and possibly some Piscean energy. So there could be some temptations or fears that you need to kind of reflect on. You have what it takes, but you may not be seeing the potential or you see a potential in someone that's very, very um, sinister or dark. Could have a dark humor here as well. Or somebody ghosts you and you kind of feel intuitively that they're struggling with uh, addictive behaviors or fears or even guilt this could feel like a guilty conscious could be blocking somebody's intuition we have uh the king of wands coming out here very active king of wands so you could be dating a fire sign that could be kind of i'm hearing corrupted when it comes to superficial or materialistic things, if somebody ghosts you, I feel like this person really had some dark intentions for you or they ghost you out of guilt. Uh, King of Wands, this person could want what they want now. And when they don't get it, they kind of ghost, they kind of go off and get it somewhere else. I do feel like some of you may have a very intuitive connection with this person. Or you're trying to intuitively uh, tap into this person's energy. Uh, some of you are getting a lot of temptations here. And uh, it's almost like there's a lot of offers or a lot of tempting offers here. But some of it may be very karmic and toxic with the devil uh, coming through here with the wheel of fortune something is being unlocked some of you may have to go through your shadow side to see your true potential or you may have to kind of face your fears i don't know sex may be involved here with someone that you have an intuitive connection to or maybe you slept with them and now you have like this uh it's like energy exchange through that that session there some of you need to be careful i feel like the diablo hair with the fortune the wheel of fortune is feels like a warning sign don't get scared but it's almost like there's someone that you have to overuse your intuition with and i feel like that's a red flag this person is like a hermit uh embarrassing moments um anything could typically put this person off and ghost so maybe they're not really reliable they could be having a lot of guilt they could have a guilty consciousness here and now the both of you or you're you're having to make a decision but you have to go within intuitively you know the answer but now you have to put action to it it's almost like you're going to go into like this stillness or you're going to turn within you're going to face some fears or you're going to kind of cop out or break a cycle that was very unhealthy for you i feel like when you break this cycle all of these temptations it would be like nothing or maybe somebody's no longer their temptation is no longer moving you because your intuitive eye is like pretty strong I also feel like fire is fighting fire. So if both of you have this very intuitive 
energy. I feel like this person is going within. Some of you could be connecting too much on this intuitive level. And now the wheel is turning. It's time to kind of like do something. Hey, <laughs> somebody's coming up with a plan or they're creating something. They're using their creative juices. Could be for dark intentions, but it's like coming up with a delicious, malicious plan. We have the Queen of Swords coming back out today. So yesterday, the Queen of Swords came out. So some of you, uh, somebody may be trying to out, outsmart you. Hey, this is someone that feels very drawn to you or they could be very obsessive about you. Obsessive of trying to push your buttons or pin you down. Uh, I'm also hearing... They want to get past your codes or they're trying to get your code. Somebody may be trying to get into your phone or your email or your profile. Hey, somebody may feel like you're their karma or this is karma. This is a big life lesson to trust your intuition. Some of you may be trying to use your logic and keep your emotions out of a temptation. Hey, but I don't know. Somebody feels like you're a delicious challenge. It's fun to kind of figure you out. Um, but this is possibly why they ghost you or silent treatment is given. I'm hearing you're too smart for your own good. I'm also hearing it's your move. It's your move. <laughs> short of time, short of cash. We have four of swords with the 10 of swords. So this could be the outcome. Hey, like this person, this could be a warning for some of you, this person coming in, they're going to kind of leave you confused and hurt. Or this person wants to come in. I don't know. It feels like the battle of the wills here. And we have the ace of swords. So there may be uh, a very creative way of telling the truth. Or there's a truth that somebody needs to tell you. But they're looking for a creative way to tell you it. I'm also feeling like the senses would come alive. Or you make this person's senses uh ignite like it's a lot of brain work hey mental work could be dealing with an air sign libra aquarius gemini or there's an aquarius hey in the mix for some of you whoever you're dealing with or you may have multiple partners or multiple potential partners or this person is stuck on you even though they have multiple people or partners my time now. That's all I heard was my time now. I feel like you may have said something or you said a truth and, and it pushed somebody into withdrawal. Like, okay, so maybe you said something and it triggered someone and now they're giving you silent treatment. This could be a very devilish person or they're very, very malicious or shady. Or you said something and this person felt like you knew a truth that they were hiding. I'm also feeling like somebody's in a karmic relationship. They're choosing to stay there, but they're also choosing to give you time. It's I'm hearing like you know that this person may be in a situation, but you also know that they're going to give you time. I also feel like somebody may be working some dark magic or spells on you or you are doing this on someone. It's like somebody's trying to block your intuition from their truth. And they could be telling a little bit white lies or very creative with their truth. I feel like this is a person that has betrayed you before or there were numerous disappointment situations or talks or truth between you and this person. Could be a fire sign and you may be a or vice versa. But I feel like this person wants to disrupt. I'm hearing betrayals is going to disrupt somebody's peace. Hey, uh-huh. Yeah. Stab in the back or stab in the heart. This person may have very dark intentions for you. And your intuition is trying to warn you about this person, your thoughts, Pay attention to your thoughts or your insights that you're receiving, possibly in dreams with the four of swords. Somebody could be sick here as well or have some sort of illness or disease. A mental disease. I'm also hearing a mental breakdown. 
This person wants to be in your mind, in your thoughts. I feel for a handful of you, you may be feeling antisocial or you're meditating a lot more or you're just choosing peace, rest, and sanctuary over temptations here with the Diablo. I feel like this person, either they have fear or they have anxiety or they create fear and anxiety and feelings of overwhelmed. And sometimes you feel like you need to kind of like uh, push this person away or it feels like this person knows how to push you away. Somebody's overusing their intuition and their mental energy on someone. And I feel like this is why we have this Ten of Swords at the end. With the Diablo and the Ten of Swords, I feel like somebody's hexed or cursed. Or this person may feel like they're cursed. When it comes to you, they may feel like you're karma or they feel cursed when it comes to you. Almost like they can never win, but it's like a delicious challenge. Your mental energy or you mentally stimulate this person and they may see you as a temptation. That's it. Or it's like their thoughts is just con you're consuming their thoughts and vice versa but i feel like the ten of swords hey this is exhausting dealing with this person some of you may want to tell this person that that it's exhausting they're draining what is this peaking hey something is peaking right here you guys hold on sacrifice so we have the hangman's energy so this may be a very um up in the air situation or is too much limbo head too much thinking too much overthinking um, this person may have a very dark intentions that they, or you're too smart for. You're no longer tempted by this person and they could feel defeated, could be playing a uh, victim here as well, or trying to play the victim here. Somebody's consumed with loneliness and they want to talk to someone here. Some of you, you're going to, in this intuition and this sacrifice of the hangman, I feel like your perspectives are changing your intuitive eye is really um profound hey and you may kind of like opt out of a disaster or karmic cycle another karmic cycle with somebody that's very handsome dark and delicious or they could be very mysterious and you could sense like this guilt coming from this person yeah, I feel like this is a warning for some of you. This king of wands may be disastrous or you're going to feel defeated by them. For some of you, this could feel like this person is always ghosting you at the wrong time or they're never there for you. Or when you speak your truth, it's like gone. You may be very unwelcome into this person or standoffish right now or the things that you're saying is like... It's nerve wracking to this person and it's like, I'm going to completely run or this is a complete ruin. You learn from the past and you're no longer tempted. And this, uh, for me is going to t show you the truth or show you the correct choice and decision and movement you have to, to make. Hey, you may be 34 or 33, we have 33 could be in your Christ-like consciousness right now. Or there's a creative force within you. So I feel like if this person did ghost you or give you some sort of silent treatment, they fell from grace. They lost your respect or trust here. For some of you, your worst fears could be coming through or this person feels like their worst fear is happening with you. Like the betrayals were too much and it lost trust or the trust is very difficult to to rebuild and somebody's like taking the back seat or you're not showing too much attention to this person that was in the diablo energy you're learned from your past so you're going to be learning from your past and you're no longer going to be imprisoned or lonely for this tempting person in the king of us uh, uh, one's energy so they could be very passionate aggressive they could want action like right away they want to move fast or something and that is like you're learning from that uh energy oh my goodness this person may have unrealistic expectations of you and i feel like it's black and white with this person and they seem to think that their way is always the right way but you're smarter than them a little bit self-centered and passionate could be very sexy and charming is like whoo right 
It's like they have a way of speaking to you to make you feel like you failed or or you're doing this to them. I feel like this is a warning that you're going to have to pause before you make an, uh, a decision with someone. Hey, that could be very tempting or a job. Oh, this could even feel like somebody at your job is trying to tempt you. They don't hide their feelings or they don't mince their words. This could be a single mother or a father. Hey, yeah, you're very funny or this person is very funny. They try to charm you and uh, try to charm your pants off or something. <laughs> yeah, but they may feel like you're overly critical or maybe they feel like you're scared or indecisive. But I feel like you take your time. Maybe you're a man eater. Maybe you're so strong that this person may feel like you're too smart. I feel like you're too smart for someone. They don't like that. They like people that falls into their charms or their spells. You could be the high priestess, uh, queen of swords, uh, where you're very truthful or you're a truth seeker, or you, you trust your intuition as a truth, or you could be a high priestess in the king of wands, male or female, where um, you act uh, on your intuition very confidently. Some of you could be dealing with someone that sees things in black and white very materialistic and you may be very intuitive and smart, truthful. You're not easily fooled. You may have been playing some sort of game with this person for a while and they possibly couldn't even believe that you were playing this game or play, uh, being with them or, you know, doing whatever you were doing with them. But I feel like you're too smart for this person. And um, maybe you're a cheater. Not, not, it's not going to be for everyone, but maybe a handful of you cheated on a Capricorn or a Virgo, or this Virgo cheated on you, or you may be cheating with a fire sign, and they may feel like you're very man manipulative, or you're cold, but truthful. It feels like somebody had somebody else, and this person was okay playing the sub or number two, but now it's like they want to win. This may be somebody that likes to mess with married people or people that are in relationship because it's less complicated. So that may be a warning. Cheating may have a consequence here or bad, bad, bad karma. So use protection because I feel like with the four of swords, somebody may have some sort of disease or some sort of mental illness going on. And it may not be apparent because they're so fucking charming and funny. And this person is attracted to you because you're so independent and you don't hide your feelings. You could be a thinker. Or this is just mental stimulation. But I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this message. If you didn't, it may not be the message for you. I'm also seeing 111 or 110. Yeah, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there, you guys. We have 10 as well, 1010. 10. Uh, yeah, big up on yourself. Subscribe, like, sh like, subscribe, share. Hit that notification bell. If you feel drawn to hit that tip jar, feel free. It's down in the description box below, but you don't have to send me lots of love and light and the power of a thousand moons. Thank you guys so much for the third, the 333 and the 777 that made my day. And yes, I'm sending you back the power of a thousand moons. You know who you are to enhance our love and our intuitive eye and help us to face our fears and help us not to be afraid what's lurking in the shadows. So yes, you guys, I'm possibly going to be on tonight. I'm not too sure. It depends on how my energy level is, but I would like to be on tonight. So um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.